Hi, my name's Eva, and I just bought back in stocks. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Eva Evangelou and I've got a very different kind of video for you today because I bought something I thought I would never ever buy. When people told me about Birkenstocks or I saw them on people's feet, I just thought that is the ugliest shoe on the planet. And I've got them here in the box. I have already worn them once, so they're just in the box for show so that you can see it. But there's really something about branding because even though people say that they are really ugly and they admit it fully that they're the ugliest shoe in the world. They say that they are the most comfortable shoe you've ever worn in your life. And because I'm going to be traveling around a lot, I thought I'll get myself some Birkenstocks. So here they are. Now I'll do some photos so that you can see them better. Only been worn once so you can see maybe the slight imprint of the toe here. But I did go for the Gize model and they've got all their models right here on the back of the box. I'll also get a picture of that so that you can see. But I decided rather than the classic, which is those two big chunky straps that go across the front of your foot, I would go for the slightly more feminine Gize model in a colour that is called Graceful Top. Although I don't think there's anything graceful about these. And so the branding had convinced me that this will be the most comfortable shoe that you ever wear. You know, they were founded in Germany like 200 years ago and the footbed is meant to mold onto your feet. So it's meant to be amazing. And I'm, I've convinced myself that it's okay. And the reason I decided to do it is I went to my dance class and there was this like really tall, beautiful German woman. And she was just so elegant and she was wearing Birkenstocks. And I kind of thought, well, okay, they look good on her. She makes them look good. So maybe they're not that bad. I still think they're really ugly. I don't know what you think, but because I'm gonna be traveling around, maybe the ugliness is worth it just for a little bit of comfort. So I am so excited and I put them on for the first time and I'm expecting to for my feet to just step into cushions and I can only demonstrate with a 10 second dance break what actually happened when I put them on. thing in the world they are also the most uncomfortable thing in the world and I'm thinking what is the point so I start googling it and figure out that there is actually a breaking in process that you have to put up with and part of the reason that they're so uncomfortable is this like raised arch as you can see here this bit comes in so it feels like you've got something really really digging in to that top of your foot which is incredibly uncomfortable um, and no it's not soft like a cushion it doesn't feel like it's molded to my leg but apparently you need to fit them properly and take time to break them in so that they mold to your foot so there's also this torture that you have to endure before they become the most comfortable shoes but apparently there are some tricks to fitting them that I didn't know before and you have to do it with the straps open and you have to do it also standing up. So I'm going to show you what the proper way to fit these is as well. So you start off with the straps open completely here on both sides and you'll see a groove where your heel is meant to fit and where it starts to come up as well. So you don't want your heel on any of the bits where it starts to come up. You want a little bit of space between your heel and where it starts to rise. So pop your foot in. And then make sure, as you can see, there's too much of a gap at the back now. So you want to walk your heel back so the bottom of your heel is touching that bit, but not being raised. So you don't want to be up here with part of your heel coming out. You want it to be fully inside the sandal. And they say you should have about 10 millimeters between here and here. And if you have any more than that or your feet are coming out, then the sandal's too small. So you want to make sure you get the right size if you get to try them on in the shop. Um, and your feet shouldn't be coming out over these sides either because that will mean that the sandal is too narrow. 
So you want to be there for the first bit. And then the sandals, you need to, you well, the straps rather, you need to tighten them to make sure that you still have a little bit of wiggle room so that your foot can rise when you're walking and that your heel can actually step out when you're taking a step. should have enough flexibility to move around without your heel coming out from the end and obviously should not be slipping off your foot. And the other one as well. That's in now. They're meant to be fully broken in when you can start to see the imprint of your foot fully in the sandal and they also say that like bending and stretching them a couple of times when you first get them can really help to get that break-in process going. So the recommended time to break in these horrible torture devices is meant to be about one week and if you're wearing them at increasing intervals throughout the day. So doing short bursts of five minutes on the first day but don't just wear them when you're sitting around, do it while you're walking around the house. So on the first day I decided to go to dinner and had planned to wear my new sandals and it was literally maybe a 10 minute walk to the bus and then a 10 minute walk on the other side. So let's say about 40 minutes working, walking all together. And by the time I got home, I was exhausted and very, very happy to take them off. So don't try and do more than half an hour on your first day. So I'm gonna wear them for about half an hour every day, increasing that for a week and seeing if this is actually worth the pain and hoping that they eventually become the amazing comfortable sandal that they have sold to me. So if you also feel deceived by Birkenstocks, let me know in the comments and let's go through the journey of breaking them in together. Let me know your pain and whether they actually get comfortable after this stage, someone who's had, who has had them and like swears by them for years. I'd love to hear with you for a bit of motivation to keep going. Thanks so much for watching and good luck with your Birkenstocks.